Hey everyone, it's Brian here from Jones Harvesting. I'm coming to you from Mineola, Kansas, just south of Dodge City, approximately 20 miles, where harvest has started. Things have been off to a little bit of a slow start. We have uh, had some green wheat fields that have kept us from being able to just run without um, hesitation. We've had to sample some fields and uh, move around quite a bit and finding that some fields are dry and some are not. So that has made a little bit for some slower progress, but we are now uh, back running full steam. We had a little bit of a rain delay here with some on and off showers and about a half an inch the other day. So that also has uh, slowed us down a little bit. We'll see what happens. We have another chance for some very severe weather. It looks like again tomorrow night. So we'll see whether that holds us back or not. But nonetheless, we are happy to get the, everything up and going here and um, have moved over um, a number of acres already despite being off to a slow start. The wheat here is um, as expected. It's not very good. It's a little hard for you to see probably, but it's only about a foot tall. It's quite thin as well. There are many um, uneven spots, which has caused for some uneven ripening. So that means some uh, green heads still in here mixed in with some very dry heads, which has made it a little bit of a challenge to always get the moisture down to the level that we want it to be. But it has been quite warm and windy, and hopefully that will um, kind of resolve itself on its own. And uh, hopefully now after these rain delays, the wheat will have ripened to the point where we won't have any more difficulty finding uh, fields that are ready to run just because of the ripeness. Uh, we'll find that uh, yields are about in the 30 bushel area. Some fields are a little uh, better, some are a little worse. You will see that there's uh, quite a bit of growth that is coming underneath the weeds here, which could give us a problem if we have significant rain delays uh, that continue on. The wheat being very short means the combines are cutting very close to the ground. That always adds for a little bit of challenge as well. And uh, you'll see in the background, there's a number of wind towers here. The construction projects of those have recently wrapped up, meaning that uh, some of the uh, areas where the ground is compacted and the soil was moved for those projects also leaves some green spots in the wheat that have to be um, ripened in order for us to be able to go. So it's kind of interesting, but the wind towers do actually hamper our, our uh, ability to always uh, get everything blended off and dry a little bit, but that's the way that it is. Uh, while yields are not very good when in comparison to last year's excellent crop, I think farmers are still recognizing that things have still worked out pretty well. Considering uh, about two months ago, you probably would have seen that farmers were hesitant to say there would be even any crop of any kind. So we've also had a couple of unexpected delays. We're not sure how, but somehow the brand new green machine had the wheel lug nuts come loose and allowed the wheel rim to wobble and ended up ruining that rim. That meant a 500 mile round trip drive into Nebraska to find the closest one on hand and then a tire repair in field to get everything switched over and done. Not sure how that exactly happened. We're really lucky that the wheel didn't come off and cause some more significant damage. It seems unlikely and it's very odd on such a brand new machine, but that's some of the challenges that we face. We didn't find it very fun or exciting and not definitely expected on something so new, but in the end it's resolved and done. We also had a bearing replacement on the other machine, which caused for a couple hours of downtime. So between the green wheat and the rain and a few downtimes, kind of off to a rocky start. I personally seem to have picked up some type of a head cold, so that's not so swift either. But we will continue to march on here and we're glad to be harvesting as well and we'll hope that you'll continue to follow us along here at allaboardharvest.com along with all the other correspondence there that we'll be blogging and posting as the Kansas harvest basically now is really underway and everyone has begun. Until then, we'll wish you well and we'll see you next time.